the Kansas City Chiefs are the final boss level for Lamar and, the, and these Baltimore Ravens. As great as they've been all season long, this is that final boss level that we all we all played video games growing up. I, I sure did. And we you remember you remember getting to that final level against the final boss. He's the he's the toughest one of, of them all. You lose like twenty times in a row, but you keep playing. And you take it into the night, and it's like, all right, I'll try it again the next day. And then by try number 26 or something like that, you finally get over the hump. That's what this game feels like to me. Because here's the part where I get straight emotional and there's no logic. I'm really tired of hearing about Patrick Mahomes. I'm really tired of hearing about Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift. I'm tired of, I'm really tired of hearing about Taylor Swift. I got to tell you. I'm tired of seeing the memes of Taylor Swift in Baltimore. I'm tired of every time Travis Kelsey catches a ball or drops a pass, the camera goes right to Taylor Swift. I'm getting tired of it. We want to end this. Let's end this. The Jacksonville Jaguars on the road at the time was a defense that led the league in takeaways. They got a takeaway, but Lamar ended up beating them. San Francisco 49ers. We saw what happened on Christmas night with them. The Detroit Lions, when they were when they were starting off hot, everyone was making all this noise about Jared Goff and their defense and how Lions will probably get out to Lamar Jackson and make him struggle. Lamar beat them. Seattle Seahawks. Another aggressive defense. Young, young, budding superstars at corner. Great defensive line. All this stuff. Lamar, Lamar trashed them too. Let's go to the AFC North, the division where the Ravens reside. You got to deal with the Cleveland Browns, who statistically, in many statistics, have been the number one defense all season long. You have to deal with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Aggressive, nasty defense. You, you won the AFC North. You're the best team in the AFC as a result. The Ravens have passed every test that has been thrown at them. They've, Lamar Jackson is probably going to win his second MVP before before turning the age of before turning the age of 28 or whatever. I don't know what the record is, but second MVP in in, his, in six seasons as a starting quarterback. There's not not too many people have done that. But now the final step is to get past again the final boss and Patrick Mahomes and get to the Super Bowl. And win it because I honestly I believe the winner of this game will win the Super Bowl because the AFC has been that great this season it's been it's been battle tested left and right I think whoever wins that is going to win the Super Bowl but going back to Lamar think about it's, a, it's been a lot of talk about you know what is what is Kansas City's defense going to do to slow him down Kansas City's defense is a top five defense they're really good blah 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 we've heard this before Lamar has been battle tested and has passed all these tests. Think about the defenses that Lamar had to go through where analysts and experts thought that he would struggle. They thought that the opposing team, because of their defense versus Lamar, the first AFC championship hosted by this Ravens organization since they became the Ravens. Johnny Unitas and the Baltimore Colts were the last time that an AFC championship came to Baltimore. So this Ravens organization has never hosted one. This is it's gonna be it's a special, special time, and it's gonna be a special day for the city of Baltimore, for the Ravens organization, for Lamar Jackson. As we know, and I've said I've said this previously, it's bigger than just football for Lamar. To the point where like un unfair or whatever you want to say, this guy has to win. He's gotta win it all. If he loses to Patrick Mahomes, this is Patrick Mahomes we're talking about, best quarterback in the league by far. Lamar can't lose to him because as if he does, it's the playoff record. It's you can't get it done with Lamar Jackson. You overpaid him. Teams were right to not make a play at him when he asked for the contract that he wanted. All this stuff is gonna is gonna resurface and all the and all the people that are just all the and all the people that are just praying for Lamar to, to screw up, praying for Lamar to have a terrible game, they're just gonna sit there with their chest poked out saying, See, I told you. I told you, you don't believe you don't listen to me, but I told you. You cannot get it done playing like that. You can't. They're waiting to be they're waiting to be vindicated and to be proven right. That's what they're waiting for. I watching this team the way that they've they've played this season, they have passed test after test after test and answered all and answered everyone's questions. I they've answered all my questions. I've had questions about this team all season long when it came to certain games. They've answered all those questions. They passed all the tests. And for Lamar, he has again exceeded expectations. I wasn't sure how this offense was going to look. I wasn't sure how he would look. Here we are at the AFC Championship. Lamar Jackson's probably going to win.